we're going to head out and from now on we're going to be winging it. So we don't have any reservations and we don't know when we're going to go back. So Yeah, we're just going to play it by ear. We'll see yeah. what the weather does and, and when we feel like heading home, we're going to head home. Gordon's concentrating on the road. It's not too bad. Apparently there are still prehistoric animals here. So we made it down the logging road about 14 and a half kilometers. Yeah, it's actually not yeah. too bad. There was yeah. one section where they're, they're actually still doing some active logging and the rocks were pretty rough looking there, but we got through that. Hopefully with no problems. Um, otherwise, road in's not too bad. Just drive slowly. Yeah, there's even like a Class C motorhome down here. So well, most people have pickups. Pick up some trailers. Yeah. But um, beautiful lake. There is active logging though. Um, you know, about a kilometer away. I don't think we're going to stay here tonight. We're going to carry on to another spot we thought we might try, but this certainly would be some place that, other than the uh, the fact that it has some prehistoric animals floating about, would be a, <laughs> would be a, 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 a pleasant place to, to stay, I think. Yeah. Assuming the logging is not too loud. On the way back, surprised by the several people down at the lake, but the parking lots, I don't know, maybe 150 feet above them, so I think they drove in there and they're camped, but they look like they're camped there for a long time. Beautiful, beautiful spot. All right, Mickey's making one of my favorite meals, which is, what do you call it, a Mexican? I don't know, I just call it a Mexican rice bowl. He calls it a Mexican rice bowl. I think the only reason is because we have rice, with some avocado. Beans, with uh, some chili seasoning. Yeah. And it smells wonderful, and we can't, uh, we can't share that with, on the yeah, smell of vision but uh, mm -hmm. it's great, looks good. And we're cooking inside because it's so darn windy that, uh, it would be really difficult to uh, cook outside here. Plus we don't have a picnic table. Okay, dinner's ready. Good morning everyone. Good morning. We're actually at Nimkush Lake. We came in yesterday. Uh, it was much windier. But it's so beautiful here. We had a we had a great night. Uh, it's a real little sense of community. The people that uh, camp here, many of them have been here, I think, a long time. They chatted to some folks, and they come every year, and been doing so for like thirty years. And I was out for a paddle this morning, and Mother Nature decided that uh, I would have a little bit more fun and 
blew a lot of wind and some waves after I was out. And then literally when I got back, the lake's almost glass. Now the boat bounces so much more at the bow without Mickey riding in it. It's actually much smoother to paddle when there's a second person in the front. Or you can add some weight. I've added rocks in the past. It's actually sunrise, I think right about now. And this lake can get very windy, so I wanted to get out for a paddle early. Out even before the kite borders. Nice little bay here. So pretty. Sun coming up, orange in the clouds. It's <laughs> so nice. Morning's such a special time of the day. All right, I'm stuck. Very shallow here. And there we go. Starting to get a bit windy. But I have to take a look and see what's on the other side of this. I don't think you'll be able to see it with this camera, but I can see water over there. And my guess is the river just works its way along there. I think if the wind gets really bad, I could probably walk most of the way back. At least I know my boat won't blow away. It's not even 6.30 in the morning and this wind is picking up. Still not white caps, but you know, in the camera, it always looks so much smoother than it feels like when you're in the boat. I've already had a few waves splash over the bow and get me a little wet. It's starting to be fun. I'm going to head into the river for a little ways. It'll get me out of the wind a bit too. I believe this river is flowing into the lake. And if that's the case, I'll have to paddle against the current. But it looks very flat, so I don't see an issue. So the river current is stronger here than I expected. I can still make a little bit of progress, but yeah, no, I think even 100 meters or 50 meters ahead of me, the current's going to be too strong. So even with the wind and the waves, which I think you can see in the river going my way, and my old man's strength turned on full, I'm not making any progress whatsoever. <laughs> maybe, maybe six inches every time I paddle, if that, and it's only going to get worse. <laughs> It is fun though. <laughs> Time to turn around. Look how clear the water is though. I just put a few rocks inside the boat and I'll place them back along the bank when I get closer. It's going to be too wavy without something, some weight in the front. And I think if I yell for Mickey, it's too far for her to hear. <laughs> What a beautiful morning though. Time to turn around, head home. Doesn't look too bad from here. We'll see how it is in the lake. Woo! <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna have to stick close to shore. <laughs> The good news is, the water here is only literally a few feet deep right here. <laughs> All right, let's hope I get, don't get too much water in the boat. I'm sorry about the wind noise. 
it's actually not too bad here. When you're heading straight into the waves, they can be a little daunting in the wind, but more parallel, not too bad, especially with the little bit of weight in the front from those rocks. This is just for fun. <laughs> so fortunately the wind's calmed down a little, plus that point ahead of me, it's giving me a bit of shelter as well. So it makes a big difference. But the wind's calmed down a lot in the last five minutes, so a bit of a break. The rocks in the front really do help, though you don't want too much weight, but even 20 pounds just helps the boat track a little, a little straighter, especially in wind. But yeah, it's much less windy now. Just beautiful. Top of the mountain over there came out last night just at sunset. Looked very pretty. Maybe it'll come out later today before we leave. Time to get back. I think it's probably seven o'clock. Half the day is gone. To park on that side. Not sure exactly where. My guess is near the end, farther down, maybe even right across where there's been no logging. I think the only access in though is through boat, although you may be able to hike back there. I think it's uh, Nymphish Lake Provincial Park. It's so calm now. And then literally when I got back, the lake's almost glass. Just gorgeous. We're um, just on the point, uh, I can't remember the name of this point. Oh, it's um, it, there's a recreation site for tenters here on this beach. Yeah, and so some people, you can walk down, there's a, a small little narrow road and it's maybe like a couple hundred feet. And then you can uh, camp here, but a lot of people simply bring their stuff in by boat. Yeah, and there's a nice trail that connects this, this rec site to the one uh, on the other side where we're staying. Yeah, it's a beautiful trail, it goes along some cliffs. And there's some beautiful old growth trees that are just amazing. The water here is crystal clear and actually reasonably warm. So a wonderful place to swim. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna head, uh, I think we're gonna head south. Uh, we're not too sure yet where we're gonna be. Um, some of the people that are here have been giving us some suggestions. So we'll just see what the day brings. And just behind where we're camped, this trail here goes to that bay and river where I paddled to this morning.
everyone. Morning. So we're here at the BC Hydro Upper Campbell River Free Campground and it's <laughs> such a great day. We were a little worried yesterday because we drove around Robe all the way to Gold River and we couldn't find anything. Every, everything was full yeah. and we weren't panicking because we you know there's always options including Walmart and Campbell River but uh, and we wanted to drive out. We've never been out to Gold River before, so it was nice to drive, but everything was full. The provincial parks are full, the municipal campground in Gold River was full, and we'd driven by the uh, BC Hydro campground and it said it was full. But on the way back, we thought we'd check and see if they had any overflow, uh, which they do. Yeah. And um, when we pulled in, the gentleman walked up, the operator, and said, uh, are you looking for a spot for tonight? Somebody just pulled out. This was about 6.30 at night, which is usually too late to be looking for places. And we got probably one of the best spots available with a nice, uh, nice water view, and it's just, it's just great. It's actually hard to leave. Yeah, we were so pleased. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> so excited to get the site. It's so beautiful. It's right on the water. Sometimes we get the nicest site when we don't have any <laughs> reservations and we're panicking to try to find a space, and then all of a sudden we get this beautiful spot. So we're so really lucky. The guy said it was reserved just for us, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for somebody who actually bothered to come down the road to see if there was any sites, even though the sign up the road said it was full. If there's any negative thing about this site, it's just that it's um, not too far off the main road, but that isn't that busy. And we're, we're actually a lot closer than where our campsites are. And the other thing is, we kind of inherited a pet. I think it's a, a, a small little bird. A finch maybe? maybe. Yeah, I don't know, it, tiny. It, it arrived after we did yesterday and then it started to hang around and the next thing we know it was landing on us, um, sitting on our knees, on our heads, uh, not looking for food, more for company. Even this morning I was out for a walk and it landed on my shoulder and it just came with me. Uh, it was so cute it's sort of hard to leave behind but yeah. it is a wild bird and I think it's uh, some of the other campers said it they kind of refer to it as the campsite bird. Mm -hmm. It, it uh, hangs out with a lot of the different campers, but it was it was fun. It was like having a pet with us. Hello, friend. Yeah, you're you're quite friendly. You could become our you could become our pet bird if you'd like. Very cute. I have to move at some point so I can get in the van, though. I think so. Oh, he's after your sandwich. No, he can't have my sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too much human mayo and sauce and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Hello, buddy. Guy, yeah. Don't drink our beer. You get <laughs> drunk. I think he likes your hair. He seems to like, like to climb on our arms, our shoulders. Our like feet. somebody's pet. Where do you live? You live in that tree? You live in that tree? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> You're a good little guy. You're a good little guy. Birdie's taking turns with us. <laughs> if he poops there, I won't be happy. No. <laughs> I like it when he, he's been sitting on my arm and, and uh, wrist. I don't mind that, but this is makes me a little uncomfortable.
campsite. I think Gordon said that it was built in 2020. Yeah, it was just it was new. just finished last yeah. year, so I'm not even sure if it was open then. So this might even be the first season, uh, possibly last year. But everything's just immaculate. Yeah. Uh, kudos, BC Hydro. Thank you very much. Yeah, and their outhouses are really nice. They don't <laughs> <Yeah>. smell. <laughs> they're, they're very they're very pleasant. They're very modern. If, they, if yeah. there's any scent to them, it's the scent of the fresh wood, which yeah. is really nice. And I only say that because the um, some of the rec sites we stopped at. The, the pit toilets they were, were pretty sometimes bad. <laughs> less than pleasant. Yeah, it, just the smell was really bad. So yeah. I think a lot of people just uh, stay for a long period and they use it quite often. So, so we're heading back today. We're we were debating, but I um, I don't know. Sometimes you just feel like it's time to head home, and that was sort of us in the last day or so. So yeah, and Gordon has an appointment uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, which um, or afternoon just makes it easier to do if yeah. we're we're somewhere where we're a little bit more settled. So yeah. no cell phone, anything on the side of the island, mm -hmm. and uh, that's actually kind of nice in many ways. Yeah, and we did manage to get a booking on the. 6 p.m. I think yeah, ferry, ferry out of Departure home. Bay, Nanaimo. So um, we shouldn't uh, get in too late. So it's been a great trip. I mean, I think we've enjoyed everywhere we were. Yeah. We, uh, you know, the the northern part of the island, Port McNeil, Port Hardy. Um, you know, it was it was very pleasant. The the beaches, the wilds. We've had a couple of wreck sites that were really interesting. We we're at Nimkush yesterday. That was just a wonderful place, a nice and, paddle. Yeah, and the and, people are all very friendly. Yeah, very nice. Warm and friendly and just, just amazing. And this is a, this is probably the nicest camp spot that we've had yeah. um, for our trip. And that's why it makes it tough to leave. Yeah, and, and the little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our little bird. We resisted giving it a name because then it would be that much tougher to leave it behind. Yeah. So we're getting ready to head out. wonderful trip to Vancouver Island. It uh, was just over a week and uh, we had, have so many great memories to take home with us. Yeah, so much, especially the Northern Island, Campbell River North, uh, just amazing. Yeah. Uh, eagles became just another bird. There were so many. Uh, it was green, lush, um, some really nice camping spots. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was great. It was just a really great trip and, and it ended uh, so well at uh, Butter Lake at the BC Hydro Campground as well. So it was just it was just a great trip. Yeah, and and a beautiful day to top it all off. So hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we will see you next time. See you next time.